Hey, sneak and expect today. Today we're packed with chakra. Oh yes, chakra. Ra, ra, chakra. Now chakra's been going for quite a while now. And it's supported off of Arch Lex, and I call it the Easy Arch. There's a few of them out there as well. A CTK Arch, I've done that a couple of times. And we've got chakra. Now this is the first chakra I've got to run correctly, actually. I've done quite a few and they were just not good enough for videos. So what I'm going to do, I'm not going to go in depth review or anything like that. I'm just going to have a look around and we'll do a couple of bits and bobs and you can make your opinions. And if you want me to go any further from there, I'll do some more, if that's okay with you lot. Was that right? Of course it is. Okay, so as you can see, the latest KDE. Also, before I even go there anywhere while doing it, right, it's got a new bootloader as well. The grand new bootload had a nice new screen when it comes up, and I was a bit when it first came up, I went, Oh, bloody hell, what's that? But yeah, it's all right, works all right. Not as um, graphically stunning as all the others, because all the others are really graphic, and they, yeah, but it's a different, okay? So, basic KDE, here's my menu. So, we'll click Reconk is your basic browser. Oh, yeah, Reconk, based on WebKit. Works fine, actually, works fine. Now, it doesn't come with Flash pre-installed, by the way. Don't do that, now. So, we'll open Reconk up, anyway, and have a quick look. As you can see, nice, does what it says on the tin. It browses the web. So, I'm going to click on the Chakra Project. <laughs> Excuse me. A bit of a burpy burpy bit. Right, okay. <clears throat> Here's the Chakra Project. Looks right. Yeah, that, it's a really nice website. It can tell you nearly everything you really want to know here. So if you have any problems, go here and they can help you. I am not a chakra, um, shall we say, uh, oh, what can I say? I'm not into chakra completely or KDE. So this is probably why I don't really do this sort of distribution. But so many people ask for it and no, not a lot of people have done anything on chakra for certain reasons, which we won't go into. You know what I'm saying, boys and girls. Always indeed, eh? But yeah, based on asking instances and the elegance of KDE. Now, with Chakra, I must admit, the KDE is rather nice. Some of the others are a little bit buggy, do you know what I mean? Yeah, you, well, you know what I mean. Also, up here we've got the Chakra Project. Go to News, what's in News? Let's have a look in the book. Goes to their News, of course. Everything is down for them on their version of Reconk. And we get the bundles, look. Okay, here we go. So if I wanted to pick a bundle, for instance, we'll go into this a bit further, a bit long, uh, more along the video. But so I want to pick a bundle. Okay, right, so I've got here. What have I got here? I'm get Gimpy. I'm get Inkscape. I'm get the Fox because you don't get the option to get that, but you can from here. And via when you're installing, you also get the option to install this stuff. So so I wanted Chromium. Okay, so I'll click there and let's see what happens. Bloody 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 bloody. Right, you can actually get it from here if you really wanted to, or you can just use Pac-Man. I was going to try and use Miss Pac-Man, but I couldn't find it. But yeah, Pac-Man, as it's Arch, is the baby to go to here. If you want me to, I will do another video on doing stuff like that. But this is just a really quick look, because I really want to get this video up tonight. I'm really, really backed up to the teeth. Do you know what I'm saying? Backed up to the teeth. Obviously, we want to donate. We had a video about this last night, about donating and money and pay for stuff, didn't we? If you want to donate, even if you donate a dollar, right? Or a dollar, or a pound, or 50p, this is everything helps. Don't say, oh, my pound ain't going to help. Well, it will. Everything helps to keep these guys doing what they're going to do. So, guys and gals, shall we say. Okay, that's another reconk. Come and have it. Nice, super duper. Okay, your farm manager is Dolphin, as you would expect. So, we'll open Dolphin up. Okay. What we say? I'll tell you about this one. It's got a little download tool for YouTube videos, and so I thought I'd give it a play with I won't show you the video, because it won't play it for a start, but I'll get into the program in a bit. But yeah, that's one I downloaded last night, and that's your desktop. So yeah, we also get network, root, your trash, and your home folder and stuff like that, and your 7.2 gigabyte, all your space you've got. Nice, lovely. Back, you get Kate, you get Quizzle, it's your IC client, or Quizzle, whatever you want to call it. The bundle manager, you're going to get your bundles from here too. So, should we click on there? This is why so we'll do this a bit later as well. So, so, I want all this stuff. Should I open it up a bit more so you can see what I'm doing, can't you? You can just say, well, I want that, I want this. So, should we find one we want that's not too bad to download? Okay, new Firefox, not the nightly build, by the way. You can get a nightly build if you really want to. Oh, oh mind you, you've got Inkscape there. That's a big old download. If you've used Inkscape, really nice program. Go and get it. Super duper. So anyway, we're going to download something here. What should we do? We're going to do... We'll do Firefox and we can do stuff while it's downloading. Okay. And we're going to apply that. Okay. Says just to me. Oh, 
won't go to bed then, let's be tonight. Won't take too long. So we'll just have a little chat. Would you have a tea? Would you be nice? Yeah. I did, yeah. Yeah, I banged some mash tonight. Mmm. What's down with some nice Somerset cider? It was really nice, thank you very much. Yeah, arr, 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 arr. Uh, uh. So yeah, this is your bundle manager. You have got a repository as well to download loads and loads of other stuff, say virtual box and record my desktop and audacity. It's all here for you to download if you really want to, right? It's all there in the repos. I'm gonna show you that in a bit once Firefox has decided to do its bits and bobs. Now, apparently that's all done now. Now what do I have to do? Do I have to install that or is it installed? It doesn't say, does it? I've never used it before, so I don't know. So I'll go to my applications and we'll go to internet. Is it there? Okay, it's there apparently. Let's open it and find out. Five, four, three, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And... Oh, area. Oh, lovely. Isn't that nice? Oh, I like that. Do you like that? Oh, I've done like the bloody font, so that's not gone over well, is it? The fonts? Not at all. No, never mind. But it does work. So I'm going to go to the tube. Just see if it actually auto installed Flash for you. Just bear with me on this one, I just need to know, really. <clears throat> so I'll go over to mine, okay? And we'll just see if we can play one of mine, really. More than anything else, I've just wanted to... I've never, I've never actually done it before. I've had a little play with it, and I'm going to be playing it for another week or so. So we'll have a look. So we'll just click on Unity or not Unity, see if it comes up. No, it doesn't automatically print flash over and I'll show you how to do that in a bit okay so we'll close the fox up close my tabs that's enough of that of downloading and doing stuff like that in it okay next back to applications oh, no we'll go back there we'll just get your package manager which is what I was going to go to before wasn't it if you use a Debian a bit like Synaptic but it's not so you can actually choose which one you want so say I wanted so what did we say audacity AU and try to look no, not doing it. D. Not doing it. A. Not doing it. Can't find it. There's a bum in it. And I've read the stuff as well. Okay, record my desktop. Okay, that's looking a bit off. Oh, right. We have recorded my desktop here. And with the QT version, which is the one we really want to use. And record it now. Not my favourite, never mind, okay. So it is here if you want to use it. Peter Bat and Audacity, though, I'm sure there's a way of getting it, because I've seen how people use it. You probably use Pac Man again, command line styly, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Right, out of that one here, we'll go to applications now. Now, being KDE, it's the latest version of KDE, by the way, it comes with quite a lot of stuff. I'm not going to go too much into this, okay, because most of you have seen it before, because most people will love KDE, and you're going to really slag me off, aren't you? Development tools, interface, QT assistant, QT linguist, nice. Education, we're going to graphics, what have we got? Only an image viewer and a screen catch program. So you're gonna to need to download Gimpy after all, aren't you? Bum, bum, bum. And the internet, we've been here before. We've just downloaded Firefox and Recon is here with your other internet stuff. Multimedia, bang a rang. All right, I'm not having much, much luck with this, okay? But as I'm gonna use it for the next week for on and off, I'll give it a good go and see how we get on. This is the program I downloaded from their repos. Watch video. It's basically you're grabbing the URLs from YouTube or video sites. It downloads them to your machine and plays them. Unfortunately, because I'm not got all the extras in, I'm not using my Pac-Man or my repo very well. It won't play them at the moment. Yeah, bummer. Excuse me. <coughs> Cough before. So we go back. Now under settings, there's nothing. Okay. We'll go back again. Settings. There's nothing. Okay, that's disappeared. Under System, you can back up all your files, your bundle manager, a drop-down terminal, Dolphin is here, of course, and your info center. There's your package manager again. Resize your screen and stuff like that, all the usual stuff you would normally look at. Should we look at system logs? No, but we'll look at the system monitor, though, won't we? Oh, yeah. So there we go. We've got two cores working here. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's running. For KDE, I'm not being funny, right? It's running really nice. Most of the KDEs I tried back in the day, this is probably why I haven't used it so much, for the simple reason it took so much resources out of it and crashed so much that I just gave up on it, I suppose. So, you know, no, I might get back into it. You never know. Yeah. Okay. Next along the line in computing, I've got utilities. So I have utilities up. Usual here for KDE, as we would expect. And we've got find folders and help. What's in help? Anything in help interesting, do you think? Let's have a look. 
Oh, it's the KDE Help, KDE help Center. So that's all right. So you can normally find that bits and bobs if you don't want to go and look for it online. Online. Yes, all right. Right, on the whole, after using it for a little while, it ain't too bad, really. I could get to like it, really. I mean, people say, oh, Archie's best, Archie's best. Well, we've all got our preferences and we all like to do what we want to do, don't we? You know what I mean? But on the whole, this is the first one of Chuck where I've got to run correctly without crashing and got a nice screen up there for me. Nice. What more can I say? I'll tell you in a week's time and maybe, maybe, I won't say I will, maybe do another video on it. So yeah, anyway, sneaky Linux at, I'll see you later, bye bye.